Hello everybody, it's Uncle Matt. I'm coming to read you a bedtime story. Today we have Arthur's April Fool. Copyright 1983. It was the last day of March. The joke shop was full of people getting ready for April Fool's Day. Hey Maya, what what are you doing? Hey, it's un it's Uncle Matt, actually. I'm Uncle Matt. What, are you reading my stories? <laughs> this, hey, get your own YouTube channel, okay? This is, this is my deal, okay? Okay, fine. All right. Thanks. Okay, this is Uncle Matt, me, and I'm going to read you a bedtime story. Arthur's April Fool by Mark Brown. Thanks. Kids these days. All right, this was, uh, looks like it was copyright 1983. Ah. It was the last day of March. The joke shop was full of people getting ready for April Fool's Day. Arthur and Buster tried out everything. Buster bought sneezing powder Arthur got a fake telescope that gave whoever looked through it a black eye. But Arthur didn't feel like playing jokes. He kept thinking about Binky Barnes. Who is Pinky Barnes? asked Buster. Picture King Kong. Now double it, said Arthur. He keeps threatening to punch me out. Later that day... Arthur was practicing his magic tricks with Buster and Francine for the April Fool's assembly. Hey, shrimp. A giant shadow covered them. I'll show you a trick, said Binky Barnes. He grabbed Arthur's favorite pen and put it in his pocket. Now you see it, now you don't, said Binky. Hey, watch it, said Arthur, trying to look brave. Why don't you make me, said Binky, and walked away. Pick on someone your own size, called Francine, like Godzilla. Wow, said Buster, you were right. He was going to pulverize you. That night at dinner, Arthur hardly ate anything. He didn't finish his cheeseburger. He didn't even want any chocolate cream pie. What's the matter with Arthur, asked his father. He's worried about getting pulverized, said D.W. Maybe he's been watching too many outer space movies, said his mother. Later on, D.W. barged into Arthur's room. Good night, Mr. Universe, she said. Haven't you ever heard of knocking, said Arthur? After you get pulverized, can I have your room? She asked. Beat it, D.W. When Arthur finally fell asleep, he had nightmares. The next morning, Francine offered Arthur a cookie. Yuck, said Arthur. This tastes like soap and toothpaste. April Fool, laughed Francine, but Arthur was too worried to laugh. I'll never remember my magic tricks for the assembly, he said. Calm down, said Buster. I'll be your assistant. I'll help you if you get stuck. Arthur felt better. He could count on Buster. But just before the assembly, Buster got caught putting sneezing powder on Mr. Ratburn's desk. Instead of going to the assembly, Buster went to the principal's office. I'll blow it for sure without Buster, thought Arthur. He walked into the auditorium. Who is sitting in the front row? Binky Barnes. This is going to be even worse than he thought. Arthur worried while Mr. Ratburn read people's minds. 
He worried while Francine and Muffy did shadow tricks. And he worried while the chorus sang, That's Old Black Magic. Finally, it was his turn. For my first trick, said Arthur, I'll need a volunteer. Binky Barnes jumped on the stage. Surprise, Pip Squeak, he whispered. Arthur gulped. Arthur asked Binky Barnes to tear up a sheet of paper and put it in the magic hat. He said the magic words and waved his magic wand to make the paper whole again. But rabbits came out instead. Everyone laughed. Arthur took a bow. By mistake, flowers fell out of his sleeve. Binky Barnes laughed harder than anyone. Then Arthur had an idea. He winked at Francine. For my next trick, I will saw this young man in half. Binky stopped laughing and took a step back. My saw, please, said Arthur. Binky turned pale. And now, the bucket to collect the blood. Binky screamed. He stepped back again this time, right off the stage. Everyone laughed, even Mr. Ratburn. After the assembly, Arthur stopped Binky in the hall. What's the matter, Binky? You left before I could show you my best trick. No thanks, said Binky Barnes. Are you sure? It lets you see things you've never seen before, said Arthur. Really? said Binky. He grabbed the telescope and pointed it at Francine. I don't see anything. Of course not, said Arthur. You have to know the secret words. Tell me, said Binky. I can't, Arthur explained. They're so secret, I have to write them down backwards. Do you have a pen? Sure, here, said Binky. Arthur wrote the words. Now go home, hold the paper to the mirror, and you'll be able to see and read the secret words. Thanks, twerp, said Binky, and he ran out the door. Boy. That's your best trick yet, said Buster. You didn't get pulverized and you made Binky Barnes disappear. What did you write? asked Francine. April Fool. Well, thanks for joining the real Uncle Matt here for a bedtime story. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.